Iron Thorn EX. This is the deck to play if you want to know your opponent. In this video, we're going to go over the deck list, explanation of all the cards, the matchups, and the gameplay from Pokemon TCG Live. All the timestamps will be down below. Let's start off with the deck list. We have four Iron Thorns EX, four Arvins, four Eerie, four Judges, four Bosses Order, two Penny, one Iono, four Poke Gear, four Crushing Hammer, two Energy Lotto, two Techno Radar, two Lost Vacuum, two Future Booster Capsule, one Canceling Cologne, two TMD Evolution, one TM Turbo Energize, one Unfair Stand. 3 Lost Cities, 4 Double Turbo, and 9 Lightning Energy. Here's the overview of the deck list. Alright, let's talk about the deck. The only Pokemon we're running is the Iron Thorn EX. With his ability initialization, as long as he's in the active Pokemon with a rule box that has no ability. Except for future Pokemon, of course. Pokemon with rule box includes EX, V, and even the Rain Pokemon. Iron Thorn's EX has an attack called Volt Cyclone. For 1 Lightning Energy and 2 Double Colorless, it does 140 damage. But, if you have one other Pokemon in play, you have to move 1 Energy to the other Pokemon when you attack. So yes, we only run 4 Pokemon, so we will mulligan a lot. But the main goal of this deck is to attack with Iron Thorn's EX and use your other cards to disrupt your opponent. Let's talk about the supporter. Arvin lets you get an item and a tool card from your deck to your hand. Arvin's mainly there to help you set up your board. Or get whatever card you need in certain situations. Eerie lets you discard two item cards from your opponent's hand. This card is so good for getting rid of your opponent's resources. Judge makes you and your opponent shuffle your hand into the deck and both of you guys draw four. Again, we're trying to disrupt our opponent. Boss's order is there to switch your opponent's bench Pokemon with the active. This is good to knock out your opponent's Pokemon in the bench. Or you can bring up a useless Pokemon and stall. Penny lets you put one of your basic Pokemon and all attached cards into your hand. So if your Iron Thorn EX is about to be knocked out, this is a good card to use. Iono is there to let you draw and disrupt your opponent. Let's talk about the items. Poke Gear lets you look at the top 7 cards of your deck and choose one supporter to put it to your hand. Crushing Hammer lets you discard an energy from your opponent's Pokemon, but you have to flip a coin and it has to hit heads. And once again, we're trying to disrupt their opponent, so getting rid of the energy will slow them down. Energy Lotto lets you look at the top 7 of your cards and pick one energy to put into your hand. Techno Radar is how you're going to get your Iron Thorns out. You can use this card if you discard one card from your hand and search for two future Pokemon from your deck and add it to your hand. Lost Vacuum is to get rid of your opponent's tool. And currently right now in the meta, there's a good amount of tools. Future Booster Energy Capsule. If attached to your future Pokemon, it does 20 more damage and has a free retreat cost. Canceling Cologne is there to cancel your opponent's active Pokemon's ability, but it's only until the end of the turn. If your opponent has Mimikyu, you literally can't do anything. And that's exactly why Canceling Cologne is there. TMD Evolution is there to de-evolve your opponent's Pokemon. This card is really good into decks that use Red Candy. TM Turbo Energize lets you accelerate two basic energy from your deck onto your bench Pokemon any way you like. If you're going second, this is a really good card to grab from Arvin. That way you can accelerate energy and get ready to attack next turn. Unfair Stamp makes you and your opponent shuffle your hand into the deck, you draw 5 while your opponent only draws 2. And once again, we're trying to disrupt our opponent, so this card is extremely good. For the stadium, we have Lost City. When it's in play, whenever a Pokemon is knocked out, it goes into the Lost Zone instead of the discard pile. This way, your opponent cannot recycle their Pokemon. And lastly, the Double Turbo Energy. Even though the Pokemon this energy is attached to does 20 less damage, it counts as 2 energy though. And since Iron Throwing EX, attack only needs 1 Lightning Energy and 2 Colorless, it would only take you 2 turns to attack if you have the Lightning Energy and a Double Turbo. If you have any questions about this deck, please let me know in the comments. Let's talk about the matchups. So this deck might not be the strongest, but it does slow down a lot of decks or even stop them. If you're going against Lugia, it's basically a free win, they will not be able to use Lugia V-Star's ability, Summoning Star, to summon out their Archeops and accelerate energies into their Pokemon. You just sit there and watch them attach and pass. Plus, Lugia Dex is weak to Lightning, unless they're running the Flutter main, then you might have a hard time afterwards. This deck also has a pretty good matchup against Gardevoir EX. Since you shut down Gardevoir EX ability, they cannot power up their Pokemon. The only issue is, most of Gardevoir EX deck run Flutter main, so as long as you get rid of it, their Gardevoir EX is useless. This deck has a decent matchup against Charizard EX and Chimpow EX. Charizard EX could not use their ability to accelerate fire energy. They also can't use their Luminion, Pidgeot EX, or even the Rotom V. And same for Chimpow EX. They can't search out water energy from Chin Pao EX, and you're also running 4 copies of Eerie. Just try to get rid of their rare candy and super rod and they'll be slow down. And right now, currently in the meta, we have Rage Bolt EX with the Grass Ogre Pond. Which this deck also give them a hard time, because without their Grass Ogre Pond's ability, they can't accelerate energies fast enough to knock out your Iron Thorns EX. It usually takes them 2 turns to knock it out. Besides all the deck that we just mentioned, you're gonna have a pretty hard time. Alright, let's get into a gameplay on Pokemon TCG Live. I also forgot to mention, I prefer to go first with this deck, just because I want to be able to attach one energy and so I can attack next turn. But going second is not too bad either. Alright, let's get into to it our opponent gets to choose the coin flip if it was me i would choose head i would always pick heads but we do want to go first with this deck but going second is not too bad they got heads which i think most people choose heads let's see who goes first <clears throat> oh they let us let us go first okay Start off with seven cards, and we actually didn't even mulligan, even though I mentioned that we will be mulligan a lot of this deck. Of course, we only have Iron Thorns EX to start. It's the only Pokemon in our deck. And luckily, we have a double turbo, and we just draw into Lightning Energy. I like to attach the Lightning Energy first, because sometimes people run Enhanced Hammer, and they can get rid of your double turbo, and that's a big no-no. 
So yes, they're running Squawk, which means they cannot use their ability, thanks to our Iron Thorn TX ability initial initialization. And let's say we're going against Raging Bolt EX. Which is a perfect example of how this deck can slow down Raging Bolt EX quite a lot. <clears throat> so in our next hand, or with the hand that we have right now, our next turn we can do double turbo. And then use Arvin to get out more Iron Thorns EX because they will be able to knock us out next turn if they're able to power up their Raging Bolt this turn. The maximum amount of energies that they can get per turn is three. Will be one to attach. And then the Sada will attach one energy to two ancient Pokemon. So that's a total of three energies. And Squawk is also weak to lightning. So we are able to one shot him next turn. So he only attached one energy. He didn't even have a Sada. So yep, we're gonna use our Arvin. Let's get our Techno Radar to get more Pokemon out. And I used the Capsule just that way we can retreat next turn if we are not able to get another energy into our hand. There we get two Iron Thorns. Most likely we'll just put down one so they can't boss up one without the energy and stall us. Of course, replace the Pokestop so they can get more resources and uh, put more Pokemon into the Lost Zone so they cannot recycle their Pokemon. Even though they're not going to use Squawk really ever. And right now, I'm moving the Double Turbo just because I feel like we have more Lightning Energy in our deck. So the chance of us hitting the Lightning Energy is a lot better than just the other three Turbo into, in our hand or in our deck. And there it is. There's another Lightning Energy. So with the capsule, we're able to retreat for free and just keep looping the attack. We attach the energy to the Iron Thorns EX on the bench, and then we retreat, attack, move the double turbo back to the other Iron Thorns, and that's kind of how this deck functions. He only has a total four cards in hand, so he used the Heavy Ball, which got the, I think, the Fighting type Ogre Pond, which usually is a good match, a uh, good card to have for certain, for certain uh, decks and matchup, but against Iron Thorn TX, I don't even know why he's putting it down. Uh, Cause my ability stops his ability. And there it is. He bossed this guy up to try to stall, hoping that I don't have a lightning energy in my hand. And he's just gonna discard his whole hand and draw six. So he's really behind now. I think I will probably judge to disrupt him. But before I do that, I just gotta put down the other Iron Thorns in case I can't get another one out. Yep. So reducing his hand from six to four. Now we have even more energies in our hand. I'm just gonna do 120. He does have a charm on, so it's gonna take us three turns to knock it out, but we do run two Lost Vacuum. And we do have a Poke Gear in hand. So our goal is to get Arvin next turn to try to get the Lost Vacuum from the deck into our hand and then use it to get rid of that charm and then we were able to knock him out. So we're already ahead in terms of the price. And this turn, if he does get Sada, he will be able to one-shot us, which is still be okay, as long as we can knock this uh, Rich Bolt out that's damaged next turn. Use Sada, he just needs to attach one energy and discard all four energy, which does 280 damage total. And then my Iron Thorns EX goes bye-bye. There's the four energies. Most likely gonna knock us out, and we're gonna need the heart of the cards to get uh, Arvin from either our top deck or from our Parky Gear. Or even top deck like a Lost Vacuum would be good. He knocks us out. We're gonna promote the Iron Thorns with the energy of Tatch, of course. Let's see what we top deck. And we got an Eerie, not what we're looking for. Straight to the Poke Gear and we hit the Arvin. This is perfect. We're gonna get a Lost Vacuum and probably just any of the TMs that we're not gonna use at all. I'm thinking here, but most likely I'm gonna get the TM. Yep. Use the Lost Vacuum, get rid of our TM and the Evolution to get rid of his charm. Then we gotta make sure we attach for turn as well. So we attack and we're gonna move the Lightning Energy from the attacking Iron Thorns to the bench. 
So we're always going to be keep chaining the attack. The only issue right now is we only have one capsule in play, but we should be okay to keep attacking. We got a penny, which is not too bad because this turn, the maximum damage you can do is 210. So he's probably going to search for a Sada from the Poke Gear. Will he get the Sada? He got the Iono. Will he Iono this to only two cards in hand? But we can still retreat with Iron Thorns EX to attack. He's going to try again. Yep, he's really digging for the Sada. He wants to keep attacking that way. He can try to catch up in terms of the prize trade. But as of right now, we are a little bit too ahead. And like I said earlier in the video, it does take him two turns to knock out my iron thorns because the maximum uh energy that he can put down in one turn is three so i think right now he's digging for an energy just so that way he can attack he needs a lightning energy with 10 cards in his hand and 21 card cards left in the deck oh there's the lightning energy 210 damage coming up and this is exactly why we run penny we're gonna even slow him down even more we can just penny him it all back up, promote the one in the bench, place down another Iron Thorns, EX, and then just keep repeating. What else will we top deck? Another Lightning Energy. We run a lot of Lightning Energy, so we're definitely going to run into a lot of things. Make sure we put the capsule back onto the active, attach our energy for turn. Doing the double turbo, because I don't think they're running Enhanced Hammer at all in their build. So we're gonna attach the lightning energy to the bench. And next turn we can either attach, attack, or retreat and attack with our iron thorns on the bench. And even right now, he can Sada us, which will give him two energies to in play and then one attach per turn. Ooh, he pokes off a Sada. I think that's what he was searching for. But yeah, there's no way for him to knock out this Iron Thorn ZX, so we should be good. They do run uh, switch cards, so I think they'll probably try to switch into the Bench Raging Bolt. That way, I cannot knock it out, and it forced me to try to find a boss. Yep, there's a switch card. Healing 30, 110. Uh, we're still able to knock it out as long as we have the capsule in play, and we need a boss. What is he gonna do here? He already Iono, so. Oh no, he didn't even Iono. He still has Iono in hand. He's gonna get rid of, or put back the Sada from his discard pile. He should Iono, right? Yeah, we knew he had Iono from last turn when he put it here. All right, we're only down to two cards, which is rough. That is not bad at all. So we have boss, which we can boss up the damage raging bolt, and that should be game as long as we get a lightning energy. Because without the booster capsule, I'm not able to do enough damage. Energy lotto hit for the lightning, and we got it. Got the lightning energy. We would attach, which does 140 with the capsule. And then we boss up the raging bolt, and that's GG. Does it even matter what energy and our opponent conceded? And this is why I love this deck. That is it for this video. I hope you guys have been enjoying these deck guides because there will be more coming soon. But in the meantime, you guys can check out my other videos right over here. If you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you.